My name's Chris, I'm volunteer crew at Eastbourne Lifeboat Station. I've been on the lifeboat crew in Eastbourne for just coming up to a year. Um, really enjoyed it so far. I haven't come from a maritime background. When I'm not at the lifeboat station, um, I'm a full-time windscreen fitter. Um, fit windscreens in and around Eastbourne, Hastings area. Um, I wanted to join the crew because I just wanted to help people. I never want to see anyone in trouble. Um, and if there's something I can do to somebody around me to make, uh, to make them better, make their day better, then yeah, I'll always try and go my way to do that. Uh, the sea survival um, pool at pool um, was a really good few days for me. Um, very big pool, very deep. Um, it can simulate all different types of weather conditions um, from very rough to very calm. You've got a jump platform um, that you can jump off in your, in your kit. Um, you can put the boats in the water, so you put the ILBs in the water, uh, the D-Class or the Atlantic. Um, they can shut all the blinds so it's pitch black, um, emulate a thunderstorm. Um, throw loads of water at you. So it's about as real as you're going to get um, in a mock-up situation. It's really world-class training. During the sea survival um, days that we're there, um, we practice what it's like to swim in a survival suit, um, which is definitely different to um, anything that we've come across. Um, we can swim in full ALB kit as well, so we can appreciate just how heavy it actually is for should it ever happen in real life. Um, life raft situations, practice getting in and out of life rafts um, and maintaining a life raft for a duration of time. Um, we set off flares as well so we know um, exactly what flares to use, um, uh, whether it's day, night time, what to expect, the hazards associated with that. Um, yeah, it's just very comprehensive, it gives you a very good insight um, to should anything go wrong, what you're going to do. I thought the most challenging part of the training was, um, so during the training we have to capsize the D-Class, um, we then have to swim underneath it um, and stay for a duration of time just surviving in the small amount of um, air that's um, still underneath. Yeah, that, that's a little bit challenging, not necessarily physically doing it, but when you're underneath there, I think it brings the realisation that if you were doing that for real, it's not going to be tethered to a pole. Um, you're going to be at the mercy of the elements. There's going to be petrol underneath there. Um, it's going to be quite claustrophobic and it's going to be quite difficult. The instructors are very good um, at putting you kind of in that scenario um, and giving you space so that you can sort yourself out, you can become calm and you can figure out what you need to get. Uh, the favourite part of the sea survival course for me was um, having to jump off of the jump platform. Um, yeah, for me that was that was very good fun. Um, everyone was quite nervous about it, but yeah, that was that was definitely the highlight. Um, of the few so you need to jump off the jump platform um, just in case you're on a casualty vessel, for example, um, and that vessel starts going down beyond what we can recover. Um, it could be bigger than the all-weather lifeboats. Um, we have to simulate what it's like jumping in at that height, um, particularly with the automatic life jackets. Um, you have to get the sensation of it self-inflating. If it doesn't inflate, um, you're trained as to what to do if it doesn't. So yeah, we have to do that because it could happen to us or we might have to jump up something uh, high. I've had to use the skills that I've learned at the Sea Survival um, School just over a week ago. Um, we had to get in quite close to shore and it was quite big surf. Um, so yeah, definitely some of the swimming techniques that we've learned carrying full kit um, and having to, to get in um, under those circumstances definitely helped me. Um, I think above anything it teaches you to be calm and compose yourself, you know, not to go in there um, hot-headed, just to really compose yourself and to think about what you're doing. Um, use the training.